Hello everybody and welcome back to Epic Suite. My name is Akash and today we're taking a look at Luna and what's happened uh, with Luna since our last discussion. Right, so before we actually get into the details or technicals of Luna, please make sure to head on over to our YouTube channel and hit subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated to the hardest ones in the crypto market, please make sure to also click on this bell icon. You can also give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto. And if you enjoy the content that I put out basically on my Twitter uh, or on my YouTube channel where I post my scalping plans and discuss uh, the macro outlook of Bitcoin, make sure to also give me a follow at Twitter on Twitter at Mangeko with the zero at the end. Right, so uh, let's get into Luna and what's happening with it. Right, uh, if you haven't watched the video that I did uh, a few weeks ago, please make sure to go and watch it. Uh, in that, I explain uh, the, the potential for Luna to head all the way back to sixteen dollars, uh, and hopefully at twelve or if not sixteen, right, we could see it head up to fifteen or twelve, and if not even twelve. $10 seems like a pretty good point and from where it is right now you can almost 4x your capital uh, So why do I feel that why do I feel like the price is gonna go up? Please make sure to go ahead and watch that video uh, But let me give you a brief uh, outlook on why I feel that's gonna happen, right? Uh, the main reason is mean reversion, right? Uh, it doesn't just happen in price or in stocks or crypto it happens everywhere. It's the way nature works things revert to mean and for price action how you can uh, kind of see that is that after a massive move in either direction the price tends to go back to the 50 percent retracement level of that particular move now if I, if I were to give you an example i could just yeah take a take a look at cardano in this move here which extends from 0.43 to 0.51 the price rallied uh how much was it 19 percent and then now after rallying this an exhaustion forming a swing high here the price is now at the mean which is 50 percent of this particular move now the reason why i call this as a buy zone is because when the price is above the mean it it is fairly valued but when it is below the mean it means that it is at a discount now this is a deep discount level here uh, and this area extending from 0 0.79 79 retracement level to 62 retracement level is termed as a deep discount level or area and that's where i uh, you you basically want to be buying right so that is mean reversion basically like any any massive move you take no matter what the time frame it is like for example right if you if you take a look at this particular move here right uh turn off the log turn off this right this move basically pushed cardano all the way of by 4,000% and since then, right, the price has not just done, uh, retraced below the mean, it already re reversed to the mean, but it also flipped it into a resistance level and now is way below the deep discount mode. And yeah, so that's basically how things work and that is basically mean reversion, right? And for Luna, right, uh, the, the price rallied from 0 0.5 to all the way to 30, which was an all time high. And since then, uh, the price reversed back to the mean and the way it reversed back was pretty quickly right and as a result of that I feel like let me just show it to you in a 15 minute time frame as you can see here the price rallied up right and then it reverted to the mean and it moved way below the mean uh, and set a range extending from $3.5 to $10. And now, as it traversed this range, uh, my thesis for range-bound movements is it, it's, it's pretty simple. The price sweeps the range high and then goes and sweeps the range low. Now, the white line here you see here is the range high. The price swept the range high and then we're going to higher time frame, right? You can now see it clearly. This was the range extending from $3.5 to $10. I swept the range high and then moved down, swept the range low. Now what I'm expecting is for the price to move back. Like once we get a flip above $3.5, that's where I'm going to long uh, Luna and uh, book profits at the 50 retracement level here and the uh, range high here at $10.2. Now that would mean approximately 3x from where it is right now here from the range low to range high. It's a 3x move. But if you look at this massive move here, which was an 88% downswing that you see here, uh, um, um, apologies for this lag or that you're seeing here it's because of my laptop 
So uh, this 88% downswing that you saw here, the mean for this move is around $16, and that's why I believe $60 is like Luna is gonna at uh, uh, attempt to go up to $60, but it's gonna take quite a while, right? So and considering how Luna's performed despite this massive market crash. It seems like an uncorrelated asset right now. So I would kind of, it, it would be reckless of me to not take this trade or not keep an eye on Luna, right? Uh, so yeah, that's my take on Luna. If you enjoyed this analysis, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.